de São Luís Cunha. So, who is the spokesperson today? Rome, that's great. We are very much looking forward to it. But before that, will you lift it up, please, uh, towards uh, uh, Auntie Daphne, that side? Uh, don't block the view. You can step backwards without being hit. OK. Then to the middle. And then to our lady, towards our lady. This side. Just turn a little bit. OK. Thank you very much. Wow, it is something very interesting. So, what happened today? Okay, today we talked about Jesus' promise that the Holy Spirit will come and be with us. It will be our advocate. The, sim the Holy Spirit is a symbol for peace. Wow, thank you very much. The best ever introduction into what is going to happen to us on the 5th of uh, uh, June. Please put it into your diary. Every Sunday is important. Uh, and let me see what's there. So, ah, uh, pigeons. Uh -huh. uh, you can see uh, th this is the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove. No, not, not, not those doves which were here. Uh, because its head is quite red, you know. Uh, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, all of you uh, contributed to this? It's wonderful. This technique, if I'm not mistaken, it's a pastel, uh, uh, soft pastel, which means that uh, it, uh, it leaves a mark. Uh, if you want to show it to your friends what you produced in the Sunday school, if you visit our YouTube page or uh, Facebook page, during the week, I'm always putting it at the, at the back of our church, uh, in our chapel. So it means that we can see the heart with the rays of rough from last week, and I'm going to put it in the background, uh, and it so beautifully proclaims your work. Because what you do here is not just a one-off thing, you are giving us so much, regardless of age, you are contributing to nourishing our faith, because we are also like the children of God like you, only we have a couple of more years. But your freshness of spirit is a real, real, real uh, a gift for us. And what we see here, what I really like, like in this picture, is the bright color of the blue sky. There is no shadow in it. Uh, and this is our special sense, our sense to celebrate the Lord's Day. And it's beautifully composed. If, uh, if the golden part wasn't there, something was missing. If the wing wasn't colored, uh, something was missing. If the head wasn't colored, uh, that spot would be empty. So it's a wonderful teaching for me that we Christians really have to make the Lord's Day something special. Despite the burdens and hustles buzzles, and buzzles of the city, uh, we should make an effort that we arrive to Sunday, to a Sunday, that we put aside as much as worries as we could, we tidy up things in our flat as much as we can to welcome the Lord and to really spend the whole day with the Lord, just as kids love playing. So it's a wonderful teaching. If we rediscover this sense of celebration, putting on a nice clothes, uh, having a nice tea or coffee, something extra which relaxes us, then our faith will become attractive. And this is what the world should see 
as, uh, as Christian laziness, and we could translate it that it's a compliment to God that we are doing something wonderful together. So let's this fragile message stay with us, because it, the colors could be easily removed, uh, and uh, let us thrive for arriving to the 5th of June with a joyful heart, fully prepared. Thank you for this encouragement from you.